Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Biohunter here, and I got a round of MLG Team Slayer on the pit. And first thing I want to do here is put up a bit of a disclaimer. I used to be a big Halo guy, so whenever I post Halo videos, people freak out and they think I'm going to stop posting uh, Call of Duty videos. So I go, oh no, he's going to stop posting Call of Duty, I'm not subscribing! Uh, don't worry guys, I will continue to post Call of Duty content, you need not worry about that. Uh, second thing I want to do here is apologize to Hutch. Um, in this game, we end up, uh, well, I've actually, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm playing against Hutch right now. He's on the other team. And in this game, Hutch doesn't do so hot, and also, uh, we end up beating his other team pretty handily. I think the final score is like 50 to 36. Uh, Hutch probably isn't the guy to care at all. He's probably like, dude, I don't care. But <laughs> just in case, uh, you know, be on the safe side. Sorry, Hutch. My bad. Uh, I just, you know, I haven't been playing a lot of Halo, so I was just, uh, I'll just throw in a game here with Hutch and uh, my two other teammates, or, yeah, teammates that I want to mention. Knight of Light, who is on my team in this game, and Trigonometry, who is on the other team in this game. And I say that they're my teammates because us three and another person called Prodigy uh, are competing in the Frag Cup 2. And the Frag Cup 2 is a Halo 3 tournament being run by Machinima Respawn. Uh, Machinima Respawn, if you guys don't know, they are a video gaming, video based company. <laughs> video gaming, video based company. I say that they, uh, they have a couple YouTube channels. For all they post is, you know, Halo and Call of Duty and all sorts of video games. And I'm a director for them, as is Knight. But yeah, they are hosting a tournament. And I mentioned this to you guys because they are also hosting, for those not competing in the tournament, something called the Bracket Challenge. I'm sure you guys are familiar with brackets if you're at all uh, in tune with the NCAA tournaments and you know, NBA tournaments and whatnot. You know, that was always a big bracket fever around March. Uh, it's basically the same thing. You get the option of looking at all the 64 teams competing, and you get to pick and choose who you think is going to do the best. And whichever single person has the best bracket, they win a thousand bucks. So it's to your advantage to check it out. If you want to check it out, just go to Facebook.com and in the search box type in Frag Cup 2, I think, and you'll be able to find the application and uh, fill out a bracket. And no people can be like, oh, Machine was paying you to say this, aren't they, Bio? You sneaky beaver. Uh, no, they are not, guys. I'm just I'm saying this for your benefit. Because, like I said, you can win uh, you can win a thousand bucks if you just check it out. You don't even have to like give them your email or subscribe or whatever any of that junk. All you have to do is fill out a bracket and give them your name, and that's it. I think uh, you have to give them some information, obviously, if you win. But I mean, that's okay then, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, so check it out. Also, they give you the option of like. Um, like becoming favorites or checking out teams. You can like check out teams and check out their biographies and whatnot, like who's playing. And uh, you guys can check us out if you want. My, my team name is The Good, The Bad, and You. Uh, I don't really care uh, too much about it. <laughs> it's not really a big deal to me. If you want to become fans, that's fine, whatever. But uh, I'm more, more so it would be really sweet if you checked us out once the tournament started, checking out our gameplay and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I can't, uh, can't say any more on that, guys. So. <laughs> can't give away any dirty hints you sneaky beavers you but uh, yes the, uh, the actual meat and potatoes of this commentary is something on a completely different subject um, recently I've been getting a lot of criticism from people saying stuff along the lines of oh bio you're a sellout all you're doing is posting stuff to machinima all oh, you're, you're all in it for the money what happened to the good old days that kind of stuff <laughs> and you know I've only been doing this for five months so of course the good old day was good old days was three months ago <laughs> but um, but yeah, so I've been getting a lot of negativity along those lines, and I take it both as a good and a bad thing. Um, I take it as a good thing because, and guys, in anything you do in life, you're going to get negativity from other people, especially more so as if you are good at it or if you're getting recognition for it. People are going to tear you down, so I'm sure you've all experienced it. You're good, uh, you're good at math or science, or you get good grades, people call you nerd. You're good at music, people call you band geek. If you're good at football and... Uh, people call you jack and stupid, and if you're a blonde cheerleader, oh boy. <laughs> you know, that, that kind of thing, those stereotypes, all that kind of junk. Um, and I've, I've, I've done pretty much all of the above except for the cheerleader. I've been in band, I've done football, I've done, um, I've done well in school, and so I've been on the receiving end of pretty much every stereotype and negativity. But like I said, you know, people are like, oh, you're selling out and junk like that. And so... Um, first off, what I have to say is that obviously <laughs> it's not true, guys. At least I don't believe it's true. Uh, you know, I'm a little biased, but <laughs> but um, yeah, the first thing, guys, is the content that I post on my channel is going to be very similar or identical to what I post on Machinima. 
So people are like, oh, stop posting on my channel, post on your channel. It's, it's going to be the same thing, guys. So all you have to do is, you know, click on an extra button. I do, I do what's called link videos, so it'll be like 30 seconds of a kind of a trailer of the game. All you have to do is click on the link and bam, you check out the video. It's the same thing as if you look at it on my channel, pretty much. So um, the second thing, guys, is I have, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I have been posting more frequently to Machinima. The reason for that is Machinima is starting to upload videos at a much faster pace than they used to. Before they would upload videos at a uh, I, well, hang on, backtrack, rewind. Uh, I would uh, I would upload a video to Machinima, and they would take about two to three weeks before it actually went up on their channel. Now it's taking less than a week, which is just insane. I'm actually having trouble keeping up with how fast Machinima is uploading my videos. So that's why I've been really, you know, dumping a bunch of videos to Machinima. I shouldn't say dumping. You know, it sounds like I just kind of throw videos out there without any thought behind them. Uh, I've just been having trouble. Or not trouble. I've just been, uh, yeah, I've just been uploading a ton of videos because they've been, uh, they've been sucking them up. So <laughs> uh, another reason why, guys, is I have been, uh, I've been slowing down a bit on the commentary because I do not want to burn out. I've been watching a lot of directors recently burn out and stop posting uh, videos altogether or stop playing video games. Uh, one good example of this is uh, Mr. Sneaky Mode. A couple months ago, he was a big up-and-coming commentator. and <laughs> I suppose I shouldn't say up-and-coming because he, uh, he had more subscribers than I did. Much more. So I think he had like 30, 35,000. And all of a sudden, he just quit one day. He's like, oh, I'm getting so frustrated with Call of Duty. Screw this. You know, not, not with those words. But, you know, that's just kind of kind of the attitude displayed. And um, Muzza Fuzza right now, he's going through a period where he doesn't want to play Call of Duty. And right here, guys, I'm going to fast forward because I end up in this corner. So preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Yeah, I just uh, waiting for the rockets to drop to take a bit longer than normal. But yeah, Muzza Fuzz is going through a phase right now where he doesn't want to play Call of Duty too much. He's trying to get clips and he just can't get a good gameplay. Uh, Moody Sweet had a period a couple months ago where he didn't play for a month straight. And I don't want to have that happen to me, guys. I want to play when I want to play, when it's enjoyable. And also, I will do commentary or do uh, videos when I want to do them, not just like, oh, I should probably do a video today because I haven't done one in a while. No, I'm going to I'm gonna do them when I want to do it and when I have stuff to talk about. I do I do put thought behind my videos, guys. You know, I don't just sit down in front of the computer back, all right, sweet, what uh, what BS am I going to make up today for my fans? You know, that would that would almost be disrespectful, I think, if I did that. So uh, I kind of did that when I first started doing commentaries. I did just kind of sit down without any prior thought. Maybe I'd write some things down, but I try not to do that anymore. And yeah, this video is winding down here, guys. So I want to thank you for watching and listening to my reasoning and whatnot. So uh, yeah, thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you later.